Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Brenda, or also known as Cozyaholic. And for today's video, we are finally decorating my entryway slash stairway. And I did wanna let you guys know that I am feeling a little bit under the weather, so this definitely isn't my all into it. I feel like there's just a lot missing in this area, but I did wanna get this video out for you guys. And then hopefully later in the week, I will release a second a part two of this area, just because I'm feeling a little uninspired under the weather. I'm super sweaty, even though I'm wearing a super cozy sweater right now, but I am just not feeling it. So anyways, um, hopefully you guys do like this part one of this video. And then also I did wanna let you know that this video is in collaboration with Kaylee, which is one of my fellow YouTube friends. So I will leave her video linked down below in the description box as well as her channel. Her channel has a lot of decorating videos coming up as well. And although her style is completely different from mine, I do love the way that she decorates. It is so candy wonderland, just like super festive and girly. And I love it. It is so freaking cute. And I might, I might just consider doing that for my kid's bedroom because I just love the way she decorated. So definitely go ahead and check her out. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because there's going to be tons of videos coming out. And if you haven't watched my previous decorate with me videos, then definitely go look at those because those have had a lot of love and time poured into them unlike this video of course i feel so like so sad that it's not like my all into it but um hopefully you guys don't mind and um yeah so if you do want to watch some other really awesome decorate with me videos then i will link my other ones down below as well for you guys to check out and anyways we are gonna go ahead and get started and let's hop right into it all right, so starting off with some cleaning, I went ahead and vacuumed the stairway and I also dusted all of the banisters and all that just because it has accumulated a lot of cat hair and dust and all that good stuff. So I made sure everything was clean and pretty much a nice blank slate for my decorating. And then a lot of you guys were asking where I got that vacuum from, which is also cordless, which is very, very useful for like stair cleaning and stuff. Um, so I will link that down below for you guys. It's not sponsored, but I do love it and I got it from Amazon. So I will link that down below for you guys. And anyways, um, so pretty much what I did here is I kind of just draped the garlands all the way up my stairway and you can see here I kind of mess with it trying to figure out how to position it and all that good stuff I let a little bit of like the end to drape over the stairway just to kind of like create a more realistic feel to it um and then also I will link this garland down below this one I got from Walmart for $25 if I'm not wrong which is super affordable and it's very very similar to the one from a floral which is completely sold out already from what I've noticed so um if you are looking for an alternative then this definitely will be the one for you And then to attach my garlands onto the stairs, I used these little like, kind of like pine tree little branches. I'm not sure what they're called. So I'll link them down below for you guys, but basically Target sells those and they're just really easy for you to hang all that stuff. And then moving on to these berries. So if you guys watched my previous Decorate With Me video, then you know that these are also sitting in my living room area. So I also purchased a couple extra picks of those and I broke them apart and started sticking these in the garland just so that we had a very, very cohesive look throughout the house and it just all kind of tied in together with berries here and also in the living room. And basically all you need to do is just kind of alternate, you know, figure out where you want to place them. You don't have to do a lot of them. I feel like less is more. So just add a couple here and there and it'll be perfect. And then moving on to this corner over here. So this bench and the vase are actually vintage. So I don't have any links for you guys, unfortunately, but West Elm does sell a very, very similar one to this one. So I'll link that one instead. And for the vase, um, I will have a video coming out very, very soon on how to achieve this look with a vase from Home Depot. So definitely stay tuned for that. 
and then I just added a pillow right there hopefully I can get some other festive ones but this is the only one that I had right now and then for this side of the entryway so this is where I had a lot of difficulty I felt very uninspired I really couldn't figure out what I wanted to do so this is gonna be in my part two video because I purchased a different console table so it will be in that video and um, or actually I'm not sure if it will be because it's a six week um, shipping date but we'll see and then these nutcracker wooden things are so affordable I found them at Hobby Lobby in the craft kids section for ten dollars each and guys this is literally like the exact replica of I think Pottery Barn's the ones that's selling them for like $50, which is like crazy to me. So if you are looking for some wooden nutcrackers, definitely hit up your local Hobby Lobby. And then I also picked up these beautiful blueberries from Amazon, which I love. They are so pretty, so rustic, and I just feel like it really added to that natural, like, feel that I'm trying to go for for this year. So I went ahead and added those to my wreath, and then I hung it right in the middle of the mirror with a little suction cup hook. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what I did in this area. And then lastly, on my stairs, I went ahead and hung these beautiful vintage cowbells. And these I purchased from Amazon for, I believe, like $40. And it came in a pack of six, which I think is super, super affordable. So I will link those down below for you guys as well. But anyways, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And like I said, I'm so sorry that I couldn't provide more in this video. But I hope to release it part two very, very soon. And anyways, I will see you guys next time. I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the cold Thought it'd never be true Wherever I go, I got you Oh, I have stopped running There is no way trying You better loosen your belt Drinking hot wine by the fire Don't care Christmas and some kind of love, my friend. I pray it will never end. Do you like to be here too?